Well, what we put in our minds through our ears does matter. And the Lima region has a new faith-based quality option in a brand new radio station. Jennifer talks with pa Pastor Mike Spaulding of Calvary Chapel here in Lima about the brand new WTTP FM 101.1. Thanks, guys. Well, I am literally standing in the middle of what is going to become the radio station of Calvary Chapel of Lima here on Grand Avenue in Lima. Pastor Mike Spaulding is here. What an exciting thing that is happening for Lima, a brand new Christian radio station coming right here. Yes, a brand new station, and it's going to be unlike anything that Lima has ever seen before. We've got plenty of music stations, Christian music stations, nothing wrong with that. Our focus is going to be on 24-7, 365 Bible teaching. And when I say 24-7, I mean 24-7. There won't be any music. Well, no, no, just since I say that, let me pull that back. We will have a, a two-hour segment on Sundays right after the church hour. Folks are getting out of church. Andy Chrisman has a, a worship program. Andy, of course, was with For Him. He has a, a two-hour worship program where he interviews uh, worship artists and worship pastors. And so we will carry that. So we will have some music, but that's going to be it. The rest of it will be Bible teaching. Bible teaching. Give me an idea of what type of Bible teachers or maybe even some names of the Bible teachers that you're going to have on your agenda. Sure. Uh, well, we will have a few nationally recognized, uh, such as Alistair Begg, uh, Truth for Life. We'll have uh, John MacArthur on the weekends. We'll have uh, Chuck Swindoll Monday through Friday. And, uh, and then some prominent Calvary Chapel pastors. Some folks will recognize the names. Uh, Greg Glory, for instance. Uh, we'll have him uh, Monday through Friday. And a guy by the name of Mike Spaulding, he'll be on there <laughs> Monday through Fridays. Uh, local pastors. We're going to have uh, Doug Boquist from uh, Lima Community will be on. Uh, John Hayward will be on our station, and we've invited a couple of other local pastors and to, to be on, so they're in the process of working that out, all the details of, of getting their uh, sermons ready to go. So we're pretty excited about that focus on Lima. Now you are no stranger to radio. You've had a radio program going in several on several radio stations for quite some time, but now to have your very own radio station here at your church, how did that come about? This uh, really was the culmination of a, a vision that uh, I had about 15 years ago, just praying, Lord, how can we reach more people uh, with the gospel of Jesus Christ? Uh, churches only hold so many. Some folks are never going to come to your church. So how can we reach those folks? And uh, through that season of prayer, the Lord impressed upon me radio, radio. And so over the years, we've prayed about that, but the FCC, they're really restrictive on, on when they open up application windows for uh, entities such as ourselves. And, and according to the FCC, we're an educational institution. Mm -hmm. so. But they open up those windows very seldom. So when they opened it up this last time, we jumped at the opportunity, filed an application with the FCC, and here's how God works. We filed in 30 days to the day later we were approved for that application. And the website's already going. Where can people go to find out, um, to, to go ahead and stream and also see your programming schedule? Yes, they can go to uh, www.wttpfm.com. Wttpfm.com. Wttp, we chose that uh, call letter uh, sequence intentionally. That is witnessing the transforming power. WTTPFM.com. You can go to that now. You can start streaming 101.1 on your computer. And very soon from the radio, we're excited to see what God has planned right here at Calvary uh, Chapel of Lima. Pastor Mike Spaulding, we're so thankful for your willingness to pray for 15 years and be willing to wait. And we're excited to see what God has planned through this radio station. Back to you.